Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to edit patterns, so that includes things like quantization, adding things, erasing things, and transposition. So first I'm just going to record a two bar beat. So the first thing I'll show you how to do is quantization. And basically, quantization means locking everything exactly in time to a beat grid. So you have quantized and quantized 50%. Obviously, one is full strength and one moves it only halfway. So to access those, just hit the shift button and then press either of them. So if you do that, you can hear. It's exactly in time. Now, um, there's one thing that happens sometimes when you quantize if you don't have your beat grid set to the right resolution. So I'm going to re-record this and show you what I mean. Alright, so say you quantize that and then you play it back. you can hear that my 16th notes are gone. And that's caused by your quantization settings being set to something that's not um, high resolution enough. So to fix that, um, go ahead and undo your quantization. Just hold the shift and then hit pad one to undo. Go to your grid, hold this down, make sure you're selected on step and choose something that'll um, be high enough resolution. So I'll just choose one 16th note and redo the quantization. All right, so that's sounding a lot better now. My notes didn't disappear. So that basically covers quantization. It's pretty simple. Um, just a note on that, it kind of makes things sound really robotic if you use it too much, but um, my job isn't to tell you what to do, to show you how to do it. So um, the next thing you might want to do is erase some of your notes. And the easiest way to do that is just with this erase button here. So basically how this works is if you're playing anything back and you hold down the erase button, and you hit the pad that you want to erase, um, those will be erased. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to erase some of the hi-hats here. So you can hear how that works. If you want to erase all the events, all the notes on a certain pad, it may be a little time consuming to hold down erase the whole time. So to get around that, you can hit the select button and then make sure you're selecting events up here and then hit whatever pad that you want to select. So basically what this does is selects all the notes on the certain pad. So I'm going to go to all my hi-hats, exit the select mode, and then hit shift pad 9 to clear. So what that does is deletes all the notes on the certain pad. So that's how you erase things. If you want to add things, um, you can do this through the select button also. So say I want to duplicate the snare and put a clap on the same note for everyone. What I'm going to do is under select, I'm going to hit the snare and then exit this, hold down the shift button to hit copy, and then the path that you want to paste it on and paste and hopefully You can hear how that copied all the snare notes and pasted them onto the clap notes, so now you have a layered snare and clap. So that's just a cool way to work with a select menu. It comes in handy so you don't have to go through on your computer and manually select all the notes. Um, the next thing I'll show you how to do is transposition, and I hardly ever use this on drum groups, so I'm going to head over here to um, a synth I have and show you how that works. So again, I'll just record a basic pattern here. Alright, so we have a little something going there. Your options to transpose are up here on the top row. You have semitone down, semitone up, octave down, octave up. And again, it's pretty simple to use. Just hit shift 
and then hit the pad. If you want to go up whole octaves, just hit the octave buttons. Now, like I was talking before, this select button is coming in a lot of handy here as well. So say you want to take just a few notes and transpose them. So to do that, just select whatever notes you want. I'll just choose the uh, lowest note here. Um, exit select mode and then do your transposition now. So I'll hit shift and go down. So those are some basic techniques to get you started with some editing. It's pretty cool that you can do it all from the hardware. It just takes a little bit of time to figure it all out. So thanks for watching this one. In the next tutorial, I think I'll be showing um, how to add effects to everything. So stay tuned for that one. As always, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments. Any suggestions for future videos, I really appreciate those. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.